Hi, Flosstube. Hello, Flosstube. I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just Keep Stitching, episode 316. Eight plus eight plus 150 plus 50 plus 50 plus 25 plus 25 is 316. Cause math. Welcome back, everybody. Hello, people. I think I did that right. I might not have, so if I didn't, don't tell me. Thank you. No. Um, thanks for your patience in waiting for our next video. Um, we have been to another event that mm -hmm. we'll uh, talk about a lot uh, in a few minutes. Yep. Um, special hello to anybody who may have stumbled upon our channel. Yes. Um, this is a YouTube channel about cross-stitch. Yes, ma'am. And all that goes with it. Yes, so, all, the things, all the cross things. All the things. Um, we're going to start off this week with uh, Stephanie's going to give a bit, of, a, bit okay. of an update on StitchCon. Yeah. So um, for those of you that are like, what are they talking about? So uh, StitchCon is a floss tubers and fans retreat that is hosted by Keepsakes. Keepsakes is the local needlework shop in Cincinnati, Ohio. We live in Cincinnati, Ohio, and I work at Keepsakes. And both Pam and I are part of the StitchCon team that helps put on StitchCon each year. So uh, believe it or not, we are in the beginning stages of planning and signups for StitchCon 2024, um, which is very exciting. Sounds crazy because we had StitchCon like three months ago, uh, but that's what it takes to put on an event of this size. So this message is mostly for those people who put their name on the wait list back at the beginning of September and who were, have been anxiously awaiting a potential invoice. So invoices to go to StitchCon 2024, started going out on Wednesday, October 4th, which is this past Wednesday. Um, if you were with us through and rode the roller coaster with us last year, you know that we had a bit of an issue with PayPal and restrictions that PayPal puts on us and all of that. And we were very hopeful that we were not going to run into those issues again this year, but alas, we sure did. So long story short is that we finally got some concrete answers from PayPal after numerous hours of being on hold with them and talking to 15,000 different customer service reps and account specialists and all the people. We finally figured out what exactly our limitations are. So PayPal is obviously used widely worldwide um, and they do their absolute best to avoid fraud. So a lot of the restrictions they put on accounts are not account specific. They're just to help combat fraud. Um, so understandable why these restrictions are in place. However, annoying because we've been through this now year after year and we're just now being told what those exact restrictions are. So frustrations aside, none of you care about that. What you want to know is where your invoice is. So here's the deal. So the maximum number of invoices a business account, which TitchCon is, and the maximum number a business account can send out in one day is 125. Okay. However, to err on the side of caution, we decided to send out roughly 100 invoices a day. So I had 200 scheduled to go out on Wednesday. When I woke up Wednesday morning to make sure everything was good, I found out everything was not good, and only 125 of those invoices that had been scheduled actually went out. The kicker on top of that is that it PayPal does not send out the first 125. They just pick out of that 200 which ones they want to send, which is super fun. With no relationship to the timestamp time stamp that you created the invoice. Created the invoice right. or the timestamp of people who put their name on the wait well, list. I created the invoices in order of timestamp. Oh, so it is, it is that. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But, yeah, that would be but PayPal doesn't pay any attention no. to the creation time they don't care. of invoice. Right. So it was a little bit messy Wednesday and Thursday, but by this point, it's ironed itself out so and by ironed itself out I mean I ironed it out so um it's the only ironing you will ever hear me do um so every day until tomorrow Monday October 9th a batch of invoices has and will go out so they hit your inbox by 7 a.m 
So that's great. So the last of the first wave of invoices will hit inboxes at 7 a.m. tomorrow, Monday, October 9th, 2023. So. It's, we, we originally were going to have it spread out over three days or so, and now it's been more like six or seven days, um, but it's okay. It's okay. They, they all will get sent. It just, patience is our friend, which is great. So, um, for those of you who have received your invoice and who have paid your invoice, thank you so very much. Um, if Once you pay your invoice, you can request to join the StitchCon 2024 Facebook group. Um, I am... Before this, as of the recording of this video, I am up to date on approvals in the Facebook group. Um, so I'm trying to stay on top of that as much as possible. Um, I obviously like have to sleep and work and do other things too. But when I sit down to work on such kind of stuff, that's my number one priority. So if you have not received your invoice by the end of day Monday, and you would like to know where you are on the wait list, you feel free to reach out. Okay, feel free. There in the description box of our videos and on the StitchCon website, there is a like contact us or the email for StitchCon and you just send us an email, tell us your name and we are more than happy to let you know where you are on the wait list. Okay. Um, I will tell you that we are going out of town next week, so I'm taking my computer with me. So if there's a bit of a delay in hearing back from us, then that's why. After this week, even though we just came back from retreat, can't wait for another one. Okay. A lot of work this week. Okay. A lot of work. So, um, we cannot express our sincerest thank you for all of your patience and your understanding, um, and just your acknowledgement that this, if it were up to us, all 600 invoices would have gone out on Wednesday. Oh, yeah. But we're just restricted by what PayPal allows us to do. So there's that. But always remember that it is October. Yeah. And Stitchcon is in June. So there's a lot of time between now and next June. And this is a whole fluid situation. So by the end of tomorrow, and the first 600 invoices have gone out, those people have a week to pay the invoice. If those invoices aren't paid, they get canceled and we pull for the next people on the wait list. So if you don't have an invoice, please do not despair. Don't think that it's over. Don't think that you're never, you're not going to come. Right. Don't think that all is lost because that is the furthest thing from the truth. So if there's one thing that I pride myself on, it is being on top of StitchCon stuff. So if there is an invoice that is sitting there and it's unpaid after a week, it's going to get canceled. And I don't mean to say, like, I don't mean to be harsh about it, but we have hundreds, literally hundreds of yeah. people who will happily pay an invoice. Yeah. So that's just how the process works. This is a business. This is an event. This is how we've done it for years now. Yeah. And it seems to work pretty well for us. Yeah, it does. So it all works out in the end. Yes. And so, um, if it is beyond the, today's the what? Today's the 8th. Okay, so if it's past the 9th. Right. And you haven't gotten an invoice and you want to know, you can communicate with all the people that Stephanie mentioned. Right, and I would prefer that that correspondence go through the proper channels. Yeah. As opposed to messaging me directly on Instagram yeah. or Facebook That's or cool. whatever. I mean, it is what it is. I'm not going to ignore you, obviously. Right. But, but it, it's, it's, it helps for a paper trail to keep everything yeah. in one place. Yeah. So um, that would be great. Mm -hmm. So, um, again, thank you for your patience and your understanding. And we're going to get through this together. Okay. Yeah, we always do. Yes. So, um so I think that's the StitchCon update. Mm -hmm. Yep. Okay. Yes. So like we mentioned, we were away. Um, well, we got home a week ago. Yeah. We came and in. we were on a very small private retreat. Mm -hmm. um, the prior uh, f five days. Yeah. So it was a couple weeks ago. Six days. Uh, six days. And um, so we wanted to just briefly tell you um, that um, it involved seven of our closest stitching friends. Mm -hmm. And we have been doing this for about five years. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we have um, tried several different kind of B and B Verbo type places. I wouldn't say B B and B. What would you say? Because it's not a bre bed and breakfast. Oh, that's true. Not a, not a bed and breakfast, but kind of a Verbo kind of yeah, situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. Airbnb. Airbnb is what yeah. I meant to say. Mm -hmm. And um, for the for the last couple of years, we think we found our perfect spot. Mm -hmm. It is in Michigan City. Indiana, mm -hmm. not within the state of Michigan, no. but it is on Lake Michigan. Are you yes. totally confused? A lot of in Michigan-Indiana um, situations. And we go in two vehicles, mm -hmm. and um, we had another wonderful, wonderful time. Sure did. So we're going to talk more about that later in the video. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to talk about um, sort of the day-to-day -day routine we fall into mm -hmm. And um, some of the um, stitchy gifts and other gifts that were exchanged and just generally tell you more about uh, yeah. the place that we rented. Yeah. So um, that's coming up. So that being said, want to do a hashtag? Let's do a hashtag, Pam. Okay. So All right. So we did get. I did that, that, that. I did that. So our hashtag here at Just Keep Stitching is hashtag Stitch Harmony. It is our attempt at connecting stitchers together. So if you are someone who does not have a stitching friend that lives local to you and you have exhausted all of your resources and trying to find stitching friends in your area and you are just fed up with it and you just really need some help, we would love to help you, okay? So um, if you want our help finding a friend, then just comment on our video, use the hashtag Stitch Harmony, tell us your name and where you live, and then we'll pick one of those comments and we will share it. That's right. With you all. Okay? Okay, so... Who is we, this week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter, Pam? This week's featured Stitch Harmony commenter is a lovely gal named Crystal. Crystal Gale. Crystal Gale. I don't know. I think she should be a country western singer. Crystal Gale. You know? And um, on the farm. She does have a little profile. Oh, and she's she got does, a cowboy hat on. And she has a cowboy Oh, Crystal. On. See, I, I'm on to you, Crystal. I'm on to you. And this is what she wrote. She said, I love, I just love Pam's laugh and Steph's giggles. You two ladies give me an extra excellent laugh each time I watch y'all's video. Love it. I have y'all's t-shirt. Now I need a hoodie. And we'll talk more about what that's all about mm -hmm. later in the video. Yes. I wear a t-shirt a lot when I go to town. I live in... Wichita Falls, Texas. Mm. And it seems like no one here knows what cross stitch is. Hmm. Lame. I feel all alone <laughs> in the stitchy world here. Hashtag Stitch Harmony if y'all are still doing that. Love you both. Crystal Gale Hill. All right. So. Let's see where Wichita Falls, Texas is located. Yeah. Mm, they have a little park called Castaway Cove Water Park. Mm. That sounds exciting. I don't recommend stitching while on the water, but you never know. Um, and, ooh, Lake Arrowhead. Okay, I see. Oh, Fort Worth. Okay, Dallas-Fort Worth area. Oh, you are right on the freaking border of Oklahoma and Texas. So, okay. Where am I? Where am I? Okay, well, okay, well. There's Oklahoma. There's Texas. Okay. Okay. See Dallas right here. Mm -hmm. Dallas. Mm -hmm. See this line right here? That's the Oklahoma border. Wow. Okay. We zoom in a bit. And there is Wichita Falls. There's Dallas. Okay. And there's Oklahoma City. Okay. So it's sort of... North, just bam, bam. It's about halfway between Oklahoma City, but also a, a little east. Yeah. Nope, a little west. Yeah. So from Oklahoma City, it's two hours. Mm -hmm. And then from Dallas, it's two hours. So literally, she's right smack dab in the middle between. Them. She feels like she's in the middle of nowhere, stitching wise. Well, yeah. Because she's so, in the middle of Oklahoma City and... Yeah. 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 So, so, all right. So, how what happens now? If your ear is perked up because you live in around nearby within driving distance of Wichita Falls, Texas, and you have room in your stitching group for sweet, sweet Crystal Gale, 
then please comment on this video and say, Hap, Howdy, Crystal Gale. My name is, it's your name here. I live in and around nearby within driving distance of Wichita Falls, Texas, and I would love to sit with you. Yep. And then it's up to you, Miss Crystal Gale, to get yourself together and check those comments. Okay? And then you guys can have a little, little chat. Yeah. And make, make some, some plans. Make some plans. Yep. Absolutely. So, Wichita, Wichita Falls, Falls Stitchers, Unite. Unite. There we go. Okay. Mm. Um, <coughs> next on the agenda. Mm -hmm. beep, beep. That means it's time for Pam's pin comment. Pam's pin comment is my choice for uh, a comment mixed in with all the other great comments uh, that more or less tickle my fancy. And I thought this was appropriate, and I'll explain to you why after I read it. I just read the comment. It's hysterical. So uh, it comes to us from Kay Hagen. Hi, Kay. Hello, Kay. And this is what she wrote. Ladies, this was an excellent video. Well, thank you so much. It would be extra special to wear one of these, meaning the shirts, more later on that, at StitchCon. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for those invoices to start rolling out. They've rolled, they're rolling case paters, I think. Is it weird to see your faces on the chests of random strangers? No. No. I was going to say boobs, but that would just be weird, wouldn't it? Okay. Hello. <laughs> Let's talk about boobs. <laughs> Let's not, Pam. There are anyway, children in the room. There are No, not in this room. I mean, maybe in that room. Oh, that's true. But anyway, Definitely of course, we all one. know October is Breast Cancer Awareness it Month. Is. And so, um, uh, enough said. Yeah. Ladies, you know what to do. Yes. And Kay, thank you very much for your probably uh, unintentional, but very appropriate and yes. cute comment. Yes, we so, loved it very much. Uh, so it was we, pinned to the top of all the comments we got after last time's video. Yep. And um, I try to do that. Every time we make a video, try to read through and find one that tickles you know, the fancies. Kind of hits me a certain way. Yep. So, all, all right. right. Are you ready? Yeah. That means it's time for Silver and Gold. Silver and Gold is our segment where we uh, mention a couple of floss tube channels. Mm -hmm. One um, is silver meaning new to us uh -huh. and another one is gold someone we've known for a while perhaps we've met in person we've gone to events with and we think deserves uh, an extra mention uh -huh. um and it's based on the old girl scout song um make new friends and keep the old yes so we have a couple of channels to mention let's talk about silver Let's. A very new channel, and this is the second mention of Texas. Oh, baby. And that is our friends yes. who've been to both StitchCon and, and Stitch Stitch Away, Away. Uh -huh. from Texas. Okay. Um, our friends Lisa and Megan yes. at the Sassy Southern Stitchers. We love it. And um, we are... Waiting with bated breath, bated breath for the next video because they've only made two. Mm -hmm. And we know that they love going to re uh, events, retreats. So the third one probably won't happen until they get back from their next retreat. But they are just delightful. Um, you need to go and watch their first one where Lisa talks about how she met Megan and mm -hmm. how they became friends. And um, so fun. that it took them a while to kind of get going and figure out, you know, what they wanted to do with the floss tube channel. Well, that's okay. But they've they've done a great job. And yes. Um. So, uh, go watch the Sassy Southern Stitchers. Please do. They're really enjoyable. Lisa and Megan. They talk like they've known each other their whole lives. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely fabulous. I love it so much. Okay, and our gold floss tube where we. Probably um, are like many of you who don't miss a video from Liz. And I'm talking about Elizabeth Ann can stitch. Mm -hmm. um, uh, uh, Liz has been on Flosstube 
for three years. She started right in the middle of 2020 in July. No better and time. And she also lives in Texas. Wow. Um, so that's three Texans we've talked about, and we haven't been on air for more than 15 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, she, on air, really, Pam? Well, you know, <laughs> I don't mean to sound pretentious. Um, but anyway, Liz has made 116 videos in the time. That's that, so many videos in three years. Well, and a lot of them are excellent tutorials mm -hmm. that you've heard other floss tubers reference in terms of finishing. Um, and she does such an excellent job. That's 39 videos a year yeah. on average. Yeah. Um, That's wild. She is a pro at yeah. this. We've known her since, you the know. Inception. You know, pretty much the very, very, very beginning. We communicate with her on a fairly regular basis, mm -hmm. back and forth. Um, we've been to a couple events with her. I mm -hmm. think both of them were at Quilters. Mm -hmm. And um, she's just a delight. And, she's boy, amazing. she's got a polished channel, man. Mm -hmm. She is such a great presence on screen. Yeah. And uh, she knows what she's talking about. The quilting background so and if the you are the background. Yeah, so if good. you are the rare stitcher... And you have to be, if you haven't discovered Liz at Elizabeth Ann Can Stitch, um, go check her out. Yes. You will, you will absolutely, uh, just adore her. She's so. easily one of the yeah. big, one of my biggest enablers. Yes, absolutely. Hands down. So if you like what yeah. I stitch, then you'll like what Elizabeth yeah, she's Ann qu She quilts as well. So yeah. uh, some of her tutorials and some of her videos mm -hmm. include quilting. Mm -hmm. So if you are also a dual crafter or a multi-crafter, um, you'll enjoy Liz. And she knits, too. Yeah, she's just multi-talented all the way around. Crazy. So there you go. That's our silver and gold yeah. for uh, this time. Yes, absolutely. All right. Um, let's talk about stitching, shall we? We shall. Wow. Okay. So, got a few things to show you here. Yeah. Just a couple. Um, I don't have a ton of, like, update progress on the last whip I showed in our video last video but i do have a little bit so i wanted to show y'all <coughs> excuse me so this is and frank by gira and i'm stitching it on the called for color but in 40 count um which i think is lagoon and then i'm using all of the called for dmc no uh, you you changed up. Except I changed one oh. color <laughs> for the words to make the words pop because it's only one thread on 40 counts. So, right. um, but I got all of the words at the top done and it says, in spite of everything, I still believe that people are really good at heart. And then the little black bit is the tip of the airplane. So that's exciting. So I haven't worked. I, once I finished the letters, I, brought it with me to um the craft pot retreat but i didn't pull it out one time so um because i was too busy doing other stuff that's right so um the, if i'm being honest with you this will probably just go in my whip pile mm -hmm. at this point um and that's fine mm -hmm. um okay so then i had Three new starts at retreat. My well, one was right when we got home from retreat, but whatever. Uh, and one of which is a finish. So you see that in a minute. But um, this was one that I talked about wanting to start while we were on retreat. And so I followed my word and I did it. And this is called A Classic Haunt by Hands On Design. Thank you. I love it so much. Yeah. And it is stitched. I'm doing everything that's called for. Two threads over two on 32 count. Uh, linen in the color Orchid uh, by Zweigart. And all of the called for weeks Dye Works threads. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I meant to say the Anne Frank pattern is available if you would like to purchase it um, on Creative Poppy. Which is where I bought it. Um, okay. So. Uh. I think I started top center of a classic haunt, but either way. So that is what I have. What is the yellow? Is that a moon? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I love the variegation in the black, which is blackboard by Week Starks. And then there's like a little line of shading, right? That goes along all of these. I just mm. haven't, I obviously haven't done that yet. Oh, uh, okay. So, yeah. 
but really love it. I actually don't hate working on the 32, um, because I know that it, like, to get the end result that I'm looking for, mm -hmm. the saturation of color, it needs to be on 32, yeah. so I'm yeah. totally fine with that. Mm -hmm. So, that, since it's actively in a Q-snap, so that's what I have been working on. Yep. And then, um, welcome to Stephanie's beating era. Okay. Not error like mistake. Era. Era like, like Taylor Swift. Like Taylor Swift. <laughs> oh, dang it all. She has fallen down the very deep rabbit hole. Rabbit okay. Hole. And I am, my feet are in the air. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and not for good reason. Okay. So, um, but I'm trying not to like get too ahead of my skis. So I. Okay, so I should start by saying that one of our good friends that's in the Crock-Pot crew, Melissa, she is um, the cupcake stitcher here on Floss Tube. Excuse me. She uh, loves to bead. And if I were ever have a question about beading, she is the first person I would call. If you've down. ever been to StitchCon, I think she's brought it for the brag table two years in a yeah, row. Yeah. She did, what is it called? Zuka? Zuka. Zuka, which is the pumpkin. By Alessandra Adelaide. Right. And she did the whole blankety blank thing. <laughs> In beads. In it is seat beads. Absolutely phenomenal. It's stunning. So. So. Needless to say, she is the expert on the beading. Okay. So I thought to myself, and I mentioned this last week, I said, I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I would be with Melissa for six days. Yeah. And I've always said I wanted to do a Mill Hill, et cetera, et cetera. But I didn't want to just like go whole hog into a big Mill Hill. Right. So I started with a Satsuma Street ornament, which I'll show you in a minute. Then I moved up to the a small mill hill. So basically there's, and I'm sure there's things in between, but in my brain there's three different sizes of mill hills. There's the small ones, which finish pretty small, and they like come with magnets on them for the fridge. Okay. Then there's the next size up, which is like the larger square ones, which I think is the most common Mill Hill. And then there's the large ones, which are like called sticks, I think. Mm -hmm. um, and those are large pieces of perforated paper. So anyway, they're all stitched on perforated paper. You could, of course, stitch them on linen or Ada or whatever, but um, it comes with perforated paper to stitch them on. So after I did this at Sumer Street, I said, okay, I think I'm ready for the small Mill Hill. So I picked out a couple and then landed on this one. And this is called Winter Holiday. Nope. It's called Holiday Wishes from their Winter Holiday collection. And so this is what it will look like when it's done. I just think it's cute. I haven't seen a ton of people do it. So mm -hmm. um It's but like an envelope, is it? It's yeah, it's it, that's exactly what it is. Yeah, it's an envelope. It's a Christmas card. Yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. Um, and so it's going to look kind of weird because I don't have any of the back stitching on yet, obviously. So, um, it's going to be hard to tell exactly what it is. Um, but I have all of that stitch. So there's white and very, like, very light blue up there. So I'm at the point now. So if you look at the cover, I have all of this from here up basically done. So I just need to do the body of the envelope and the letter and whatnot. And then I can go in and start adding the back stitch and the beads. So there's that. What I learned when doing so far doing this, number one, Mill Hill kits are great in that they give you the, like, they obviously have all of your threads, but they're just sort of like in a hank or whatever. In the key of the diagram, it will give you the DMC equivalent. And, like, in this one, it listed, like, I had four different greens. I had, like, green, light green, very light green, medium green, dark green. And, I'm like, how am I supposed to look at all these and let my own brain decipher what's medium and what's dark? So then utilize the DMC numbers they give you and use a DMC book or go to your local needle workshop and pull them out and hold the, the mill hill threads up to them to match them up wow. and use floss tags or a floss holder or something organizer, organizer yeah. to punch holes yeah whatever. to decipher what is what and it will yeah. save you a ton of headaches 
moving down. Moving. Well, you have to before you even start. Yeah, you have to yeah. Organize your to threads. organize the threads. Yeah. So it, there's a lot less looking back and forth to try and remember what's what. And then I recommend making a copy, a working copy. I know that some people are anti working copies. No, I'm not. I feel like sometimes you are. No. I've been making working copies more and more and more. I mean, I always make them for for rare out of print charts. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. But like, I don't know. I don't I feel like unless you feel like you have to, you don't. Probably that's true. You know what but I mean? Also, not everybody has a printer. Well, sure, that's true. Now, from my working career <clears throat> forward, that's true. Um, I work in an office job. Yeah. So I have never been without without a printer. A printer. Yeah. And I know that that is not true of a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. But printers are fairly inexpensive. You yeah. can pick up a printer for a couple hundred dollars. Absolutely. Um, I think. For a piece of electronic equipment, yeah, it's that's less inexpensive. Yeah. That's inexpensive. For that's sure. my judgment call. Yeah. You may think that's a lot of money, and everybody's more power to you. Um, so, so I've always had access to making a working copy. Yeah, that's true. But yeah, yeah, she's yeah. right. If if it's something that I can avoid making a working avoid copy. Market, it's a matter of walking from my chair across the room to this printer. It's not, I'm, you know. Right. I'm also more likely to highlight my patterns than Pam is, for sure. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, Pam, I, I get very cross-eyed on, like, a black and white pattern with a thousand symbols. Mm -hmm. And Pam's like, I, I just know where I am. I'm like, yeah. I don't know how you it's do that. It's how but. good your eye-hand commun... Uh, eye... Hand-eye coordination? Yeah. Not your speaking, but your hand... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my speaking coordination yeah. is... <laughs> But anyway. um, okay, so with something like this, because the symbols for beads look just like the symbols for cross stitch. Yeah. So, I mean, they're different symbols, but it's gridded the same. Yeah. So. Charted. Like charted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I made a working copy immediately. Mm -hmm. And then I have two different colors of highlighters. Yeah, I've done that. And so then I took the one color of highlighter and I just highlighted all of the bead yeah. symbols. I've been, I've done that. Many so times. then I wasn't looking at them. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. It kind of takes them out of your view. Right. It's like out of the annex, you know? So, um, so that was really, really helpful. Mm -hmm. So these things are, those are two things that I learned while doing it Right. so far. So I very much am enjoying it. I think it's really fun. Um, it's a little bit, like it's small, but there's a lot, there's more work than your standard small, um, in my opinion. So, um, but yeah. I think it makes for a pretty good, like travel project. Yes. Um, if you're, if you're on the threads part of it, if but you're the, on the yeah, beads, beads part, part of, it, of it, maybe not. No, you need to but, be sitting with some place to put your beads. Yes. Yes. This yeah. is true. So, um, so yeah, so that was the mill hill that I started. And, okay, yeah, that's all of my whips. Right. From the last video. Right. Okay. What about you, Pam? What have you been doing with your life? Well, I've, I've got a lot. Because what I did um, in anticipation of going on retreat with the Crock-Pot crew, um, I basically followed my Sal schedule. So I took... Uh, everything that was on my sales schedule for the days we were going to be on retreat. Mm -hmm. um, so um, that means a lot of stuff. Sure does. And I'm not gonna, I'm not going to linger on a lot of these. There's going to be a lot of notes in the description box about sales and stuff if you have any questions. Yeah, um, and I'm trying to get to them. Oh well, you told me not to put them in any order. I would have. I'm sorry. No, it's fine. It's fine. Um, I just don't know. Let me just take them off the top of the, off the top of the stack. Take them off the top. Um, because it really doesn't matter to y'all. Um, mm, okay, y'all. I know y'all does not. It's that Texas, you know. Something. Um, <laughs> so the first one I'm going to so. take off the top of the stack is a um, whip go. Oh, baby. And. This is the famous slash infamous kit from Marjolene Bastin from Lenarte, and it is simply called Pumpkins. Yeah. And if you watched our video from uh, our, after our trip to the Netherlands, 
um, you know that I was able to acquire another kit and I will be um, uh, deciding on how that is going to be um, given out. Let's put it that way. Um, so that's what it looks like. Yeah. Keep that in mind in your brain. Because I'm not going to take this out of the Q-snap and yeah. show you the full design. Because you're actively Because I've got on really good tension in this Q-snap and I don't want to lose it. Ooh, baby. Um, it's tight. But uh, if you remember from the picture I just showed you, there is a pretty large blue pumpkin in the design. And so I um, made substantial progress in Ooh. getting the blue pumpkin uh, going. And so that's what it looks like. I am at this point probably about one fifth of this away from completion. And there's very little back stitch in this, which is what I love because in some manner she have managed her artwork managed to not require it, I guess is what I'm trying to blurt out. But anyway, so that's pumpkins. Mm -hmm. And that was, um, <laughs> don't put this on the floor, please. Um, okay, okay. That was my whip doll. Okay. Um, I also had a new start at retreat. And mm. um, these were all kitted up for me for Christmas last year by Steph. And mm -hmm. it is a chart um, from 2008. From Patty Connor. Patty Connor is Sam Sarah. And so clearly she doesn't design anymore yeah. if you wondered about that. So um, Jabco, just another button company, mm -hmm. um, sells these charts with the button pack. Yes. Without a picture. But I did yeah. find a picture on the internet and I printed it off. And it's this okay. is from their teapot series. Um and it is number eighty-five ninety-nine, and it is the monthly October. Look at that freaking thing! So that's what so cute. finished it looks like. And um, I got this far with it, mm -hmm. and uh, I'm trying to remember something sunrise. I think is this. sunrise. I think it's Tequila Sunrise from, from Under, the uh, Under the Sea. So yeah. I got like his, both his ears and a little bit of um, his fur on his forehead done. That's such perfect fabric. It's it is, not as yellow as it's showing in no, camera. I don't know how far back I'd have to hold it for right. it to show orange, but it really is primarily orange. Let's see. No, that's way yellow. I know, but like see the little orange bits up here? That's yeah. what they all look like. That's what yeah. the whole thing looks like. Yeah. So, um, that was a start on retreat. And then, um, you may recall that, um, in going over, going through the new Just Cross Stitch Magazine Christmas Ornament Edition, mm -hmm. uh, Christmas Ornament Issue, I should say. Yes. Um, I fell in love with this guy right here, where my finger is this guy right here and it is um called uh ready for takeoff yeah and uh it is by a new designer sarah uh sarah mod cross is it mod cross i think it might be and it might be. there it is hold on um <coughs> yes sarah from mod cross Gosh, I'm good. okay and so um Ooh, that would be good. Um, and so this was a start at retreat. And <laughs> so it's kind of scary. Yeah, it's kind of scary. It's on um, navy blue fabric, even weave, just a scrap I had around. Yeah. And um, I got like his little goggles. Wait a minute. Hold on. His little goggles. Look at him, goggles. Yeah. So, so um I stopped after that. It was a good stopping point, but um, that was so cute. Um, start, new start. A start. That retreat. You have a needle in the corner here. Yeah, I noticed that. I don't really. Oops, I it. would put it deeper in the 
Deeper in the bag? Yeah. That's yes, ma'am. Deeper in the bag it goes. Okay. Now, the, some of the rest of these are going to be uh, according to my sale schedule. So yes. this is Seaside Sampler Sale from Rosewood Manor. And um, I did work on... Um, oops, sorry. I, have, I actually have a lot of, you know, printouts <laughs> from the printer. I worked on this little boat down here in the corner. So, um, I sometimes will not so much have a goal of so many stitches mm -hmm. or so much time spent, but I will frequently say, I'm just going to work on that little portion of a design. Yeah. So, I don't know. Stephanie's going to be better at this than I am. Well, first of all, let me show the full, the full thing. Love it. Okay. And you see the little boat. And now Stephanie will do a much better job in holding. I'm showing you the boat. In holding up the. The boat. The boat. So it's super pretty. It's really pretty. Yeah. The purples are gorgeous. Yeah. yeah. And this is on 32 count sand. Yeah. Yeah. The call, which is the call for. Yeah. From picture yeah. this plus. Yeah. Using the trainway silks. Yes. Okay. And then... I have to look, you guys. Okay, so this was kind of a two-parter. Um, this is also one of the sales I'm in. This is... Um, the market we're calling sale. it um, the... Hashtag Market 2023 sale. Yeah. And that simply means, you know, a sale that involves a design released at market this year. Yeah. And um, this is, uh, no, no, erase all that. Erase all that. Forget I said that. Jury disregard. This is the hashtag animal um, ABC sale. Yeah. That's from true. the blue flower. Yeah. From Janine. Yeah. Fell in love with this when we saw the model at Quilters. Yes. Yeah, that's true. Um, I'm just confusing it because the other one, which is five o'clock from Ink Circles, is yeah. also on green. Yeah, that's, that's true. That's why yeah. I'm confused. So again, um, I just kind of set a goal for myself, and um, here's how far I am on Animal ABCs. So I'm down to the J, and um, Stephanie can fold it and show you. And this is stitched on the called for, which is here. Good. Yeah, sample green from Extude. Yep. Yeah. So I got this J. J is for jellyfish. And someone on Instagram pointed out to me something I didn't even see with my own little beady eyes. What's that? It looks like a fish hook. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't even make that connection, but mm -hmm. they were absolutely right. Yeah, so um cool. Got that in. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Um, wow. I don't know whether I've shown this or not. What is it? No. This was pre-retreat. Yeah, a pre-retreat. First start. day of autumn start. Yep. So I haven't shown this, but it was pre-retreat. Yeah. So mm -hmm. first day of autumn, new start, again kitted up by Steph last Christmas, is from... Kathy Barrick, Autumn on Lake the Bear Mountain. I have had this in my stash for years. Yes. Literally years. Literal years. And She's so. I've been talking about it since I started stitching. Yeah. And this is on 36 um, Buttercream from Lakeside. Mm -hmm. Which is a call for. Which is the call for, which is a dream. And um, I can actually do this my own self. Yeah, think, you can. Because it's small. There's not much. No. But I'm starting in the upper left-hand corner, mm -hmm. and I worked on the border, and then did those two little bats, and then started on the tree that's up in that corner. I mean, it's the absolute perfect combination. It's so good. Of um, silks and um, fabric. Yep. So, it is. That's um, great, Penny. That is uh, Autumn at Lazy Bear Mountain, which I started... Like I said, first day of yep. autumn, after our last video, but before we went away. Yes. 
And those are all needlepoint silks. Yep. Okay. Um, another one that I worked on pre-retreat is um, the Tempting Tangles. You know, I did uh, Quakers in Scotland. Mm -hmm. So I had started this um, in Holland when we were there. It's Quakers in Holland. Mm -hmm. And it was my um, Dutch Mania start. And it looks like this. I love it. I do too. It's really, really fun. It was a free sale from Tempting Tangles. You have to purchase it now. Yeah. But oh, that's okay. I got it when it was offered because I think we were getting ready to go to Holland the first for the time. first time. Yep. So um, this is what it looks like so far. And then Stephanie will hold it up close. So you can see um, that bird is special to the Netherlands. Mm -hmm. um, and I can't remember the name of the bird, but it is very symbolic for that country. Mm -hmm. And um, so. Beautiful. And it wasn't Quakers in Scotland done in DMC. I uh, can't remember. Because these are in silks. This is the dinky dye silk. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, Quakers in Scotland was DMC. Mm -hmm. um, I know Kate from um, Fickle Stitches also did Quakers in Scotland. Is she on? Um, is she on? Fluster? Fluster, yeah. yeah, Fickle Stitches. Okay. She and Cheryl. And um, this, though, was Dinky Dies. So um, that was pre-retreat. Sorry. It's been a while, folks. Sorry. I have to think back to yep. long ago and far away. Right. All right. Here we go with the Market 2023 <coughs> sell. sell. Yep. And the design I chose was Ink Circles, 5 o'clock. And... Um, this was kind of a two-parter because I realized before we hit the road for the retreat that I was off on the Moscow Mule oh, yeah. mug. So what I did was I was uh, in the passenger seat in the front of the SUV. I going forgot up. all about that. Wow. And I said to Katie, who drove, I said, I'm going to take this um, time in the car. I generally... In fact, I don't think I ever have stitched in a moving vehicle. No, I don't think so. Um, but I can frog in a yeah. moving vehicle. Like it's nobody's business. Um, and so I sat and was able to chit-chat on the drive up and uh, frog out the Moscow Mule mug, which is this brass, supposed to be brass, uh, co copper, not brass, copper. Uh, mug right here got it all out so when we got to retreat I was able to stitch it back in so this is where I am uh, in total on this so, so Bloody pretty. Mary is at the bottom and you can fold it and show the section I that I to. worked on I basically got the mug back in mm -hmm. the copper mug and then called it a day yep it's so pretty yeah I really love it. The colors it. are great. Just a great design. So that is um, the Market 2023 sale. Yep. yep. Cool. Um, another one I worked on at Retreat, and this is the sale that I'm almost done with. Oh, baby. Um, is Jeanette Douglas Matter in Hand? So, question. Yes. So, when you're done with one, that will undoubtedly free up a spot in your sound schedule. Yeah. I'm going to leave it empty, I think. You are. Yeah. Yeah. Given my future plans. Um, but I didn't do much on retreat with this. And I said to the girls, I said, you know, I could have, I could have gotten all of this backstitch done at home. But you didn't. But I didn't. <laughs> I'm on the last row. So yeah. you can see what the last row at the bottom looks like. But what I ended up doing was I got 
Uh, Punto Croce. I think cool. that's Spanish. I'm not sure. Um, oh, baby, baby. So that's what it looks like in total. And then the bottom part was basically the backstitched name of cross, cross stitch. stitch. And then I worked a little bit on that middle red design, which I'm not sure. Yeah. It might be some kind of, I don't know. It's just a red Great. Uh, triangle. Cool. So not much on that, but That's I did okay. work on it for an evening yeah, when we did. were up there. Excellent. Oops, sorry. Uh, this one was the last Whipco from September. And so I met both of my September goals. Yep. Um, this was the um, River Drift House, and there in the UK, the kit, Victoria and Albert Christmas. And I am doing it on... 32 count water lily. Water lily. So it uh, gets a different look entirely yes. from doing it on white. Oh, yeah. But For I sure. was able to do all of Victoria's side on her side of the tree. If you look at the tree, all of her side in, from the boughs at the very top on Victoria's side, all the way down to the toys around her feet. So... Um, it looks like this, mm. and I Let's think when I got the bows up. done, um, I and the yellow bells, I said that's a good stopping point. So I basically put two weeks into it. It's so pretty. And there's a lot of bright, bright, almost yeah, neon almost yellow in it. Blinding yellow. And Holy. I, truthfully, I think that I, I'm glad that I'm doing it on a color fabric as opposed to white it would yeah. be so jarring i feel like I, on a white holy like it's jarring it jarring is a negative term but it's well, just yeah. got a lot of guilt to it guilt in. yeah so that was pre-retreat as well it was yes ma'am okay another cell i worked on at retreat is the owl forest um treasure island cell and I uh, don't have a really good picture of the cell. You can go to the Owl Forest website because it's being released in pieces. Yep. And I decided, looking at my progress, that I would work on yet another boat. Because so, you can never have too many boats, you know. Yeah. Not, not you know, all. all the escapers. So, um, I'll show this much. Okay. Um, so pretty. It's super fun. Um, I love it. So this is where I am. I'm way, way back from everybody else. Well, who's keeping score, Pam? Um, and no I've one. gone from left to right now. Look and at that that's boat. The really well designed um, schooner. Schooner. I also, yeah, that's really the only thing I worked on on retreat. Yeah. Did I finish the moon? I might. I, can't I love remember. the moon. Well, I did the blue part of the moon. Yeah, I like that a lot. So really up close, the colors are phenomenal. I'm using the Al Forest threads, and yes. they're just um, spectacular. They are spectacular. Yep. So that was Treasure Island, and the last one. What baby? Thanks for sticking with me here. I'm <laughs> trying to think. What did I work on? On this one? Maybe I did this. After we got home. Okay. I think. So this is um Seaworthy. Seaworthy sampler from Teresa Kogut. And I just decided I wanted to come across the top on on the lighthouse side. Yeah. So I did some of the little you can do a better job. Um the little uh red um flowers and the vines around the lighthouse so cute so i love it i think i did that i don't remember stitching on that at, um, i can tell you pammy i'm sorry entry. about that so that's it sorry to go on and on and on but no you had a lot to show it's okay. um 
that's pretty much how I spent retreat. And, and then some. It seemed to be interesting to our friends. You know, well, what are you stitching on now, Pam? You know, what are you stitching on now? Yeah. So, you know, that made it fun. Yeah. But all told, those are our whips of the week. Week. More or less. More or less. To be fair. Okay. Okay, okay. So. All right. Now, let me get this out here. Hold, please. Okay. Okay. Where did you go? Can Doesn't you? happen too often. Can I'll take that back. Thank you. Yeah. I don't want to mess it up. Okay. Okay. So, the start and finish. So, just in case you don't know, Pam and I are going to Utah for Stitch West. Yes. And the featured designer for Stitch West this year is Jody from Set Symmetry. Mm -hmm. And I have a, I've stitched stuff of hers. I have a bunch of whips that are by her. And I've always wanted to stitch one of her beaded kits. And so I took a few with me on retreat and I picked one out and then Melissa helped me do the beading. And I mean, she just gave me an overview. I've beat it before. Like I've done a few beads here and there, whatever. But um, this was my first like beaded project. You know what I mean? Um, on perforated paper. So this is called. You might need to hold something behind. Yeah, I know. Yeah. This is called Ice Cream. I Scream. E-Y-E Scream. And it is done exactly as called for. Mm -hmm. Everything that came with the kit. Look at him. I love it. So you can see the beads that were used. There's like, um, there's three different kinds. There's seed beads, there's sequins, and then there's like these tubular bugle beads yep. um, for sprinkles. So, I love it so much. I think it's so cute. So, what, and then um, <coughs> you might be wondering <laughs> what happened to the corners of your perforated paper. Yeah. Um, yeah, that shows up fine. Yeah. Because um, it's all yeah. covered. Um, oh, yeah. Okay. So, um, I had a, I have a whole box of Mill Hill kits in them to be stitched one day. They're both Pam and I are together. And I had this like wooden scroll, not scroll rods, but like a wooden frame. For needlepoint. Yeah, that people That's use with needlepoint. Yeah. Yeah, we get them at our needlepoint store. Yeah, and they have like tacks and stuff in them. Mm -hmm. And um, so I was like, well, that's what I'm going to use when I do mill hills because someone recommended that I do that. And so I don't know if it works great. It's a square frame, like perfectly square. I couldn't tell you if it works good with a larger mill hill because I haven't done it yet. Um, but I don't recommend it for these. And the only reason I say that is because the frame is perfectly square. This is not perfectly square. So I could only pin it. Like I could pin this in all four corners, but there's nothing holding it this way on this side and this side. So it got floppy easily because I pull hard with my cross stitch. And so it just sort of started pulling at the corners. And I was like, this is annoying. So there was just too much give. I like my things to be very like taut. So Melissa was like, I've never used one of those things. Like you just, I just keep she my just hand. She just holds it. Yeah. She was working on one too during the Yeah. Trip. And she finished hers too. And so I was like, well, let me try it. And she was much better. And I was much happier. So, um, and then I, of course, obviously I'm going to take one with me to Utah to start and I think I'm going to do this one, but I haven't fully decided yet, but this is the latest. She usually releases them in like sets of four. And this is, um, one from the latest series, which is the Spooksters series. Um, and this is called the Marvelous Mr. Meow. So, um, and then I'm going to take this and put it on the bag table. You could just snip those corners off. Yeah, I'm probably going to do that before we go. So it doesn't look messed up. You're just keeping it in there to protect it? Yeah, because yeah. this is going with me, I think. Oh, yeah, yeah. Whichever one I decide is going to be my start is where it will go. So you had a finish. So I had a finish. Happy, Happy finishes, finishes, everyone. Promotions! Promotions. 
Welcome to the Triple P. This is the promotional portion of the program, everyone. Mm -hmm. Welcome to it. This is where we talk about promotional items. That's right. And this week, it is the Twin Peak Primitives Pattern of the Week. And this is, um, so I'm going to give the logistics about it. But before I do that, Pam is going to talk to you about the actual pattern because she's going to stitch it. Yeah. So... Should I show it now? Yeah, so okay. this is the pattern of the week. So this week. I've already printed this off because I plan to have this as a December start. Mm -hmm. um, I am, you know, one of those people that just loves um, um, <laughs> little women. Yeah. I was blanking out. Little yeah. women. And um, so this is not a new pattern from the twins. In mm -hmm. fact, they have a more recent um pattern featuring little yeah. women but it's more uh focused on the house itself um and um i just like this one because i just associate um the march sisters with christmas okay, really? so um this is called um little women christmas morning yeah. and this is just a printout of yeah. the digital sure. PDF. And um, so this is what we're featuring now. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm only mentioning it um, for the fact that it's the promotional pattern, but also to, um, it's not the most crisp picture, but you get the idea. Yeah. Um, I've seen other, uh, I've seen lots of, um, Little Women cross stitch designs. Mm -hmm. um, there is one, for instance, that is featured in um, Sarah Stitchy Spot in her rolling opener that uh, features the four sisters. Um, and it's a lovely stitch, Sarah. It's a lovely stitch. But that is not, to me, they look more like Southern Bells oh. than four young, not very well to do. New England sisters. Um, and I think I think this depicts sort of uh, a New idea, England yeah, winner yeah. at Christmas with more or less um, more common presents, um, you know, more homemade things, whatever. So I decided that I was going to have this for one of my December starts. Awesome. And you can do it on the poker. And I'm going to have you check tomorrow at Keepsakes oh, to right. see if yeah. it's called Petty Point Raw, yeah. uh, is what I have in mind to stitch mm -hmm. this on. I'm going to try it. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if I'm going to like stitching through those polka dots, to be honest. Be fun. But I, I, I'm going to, that's going to be my first choice. If it cool. doesn't work out, I'll switch. Yeah, but, sure. Um, I'll probably do a center start on this. Um, simply because <laughs> I just don't want to count down to Why this. Why don't you do a top center start? Maybe a top center. Yeah, that's a good idea. Otherwise, you're going to be in the, right in the middle of all, all of the, the girls. Clothes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So maybe top center. I love a top center start. Yeah. And then I'll be able to tell fairly quickly whether I'm going to like the polka yes, dot. Yes, you will, yeah. But I asked Steph, and she said she thought they had it. I do. Yeah. So she's going to check, and I'll have to, um, tell her how much I need. Yeah. But, um... So also clarification oh. on this bag that I showed at the last video. Mm -hmm. I just mental mental um burp. Um this bag that um Teresa made for me in the last video I attributed it to being for um Anne of Green Gables. It is not. And it's not. So correction there. It is for um oh, okay. The Little Women Project. Yes. So, um, yeah. So, in regards to the pattern of the week. Yes. Yeah, um, so, the, the um, if you two want to maybe stitch this with Pam in December, or you love Little Women and you want to have a Little Woman piece in your stash, you can get it discounted this week uh, with a 23% discount. So, um, however, there's only three places you can go to do that. You can get a PDF download of Little Women Christmas Morning from either the Twin Peak Primitives website or Etsy shop, both of which are linked below. Or if you would rather have a hard copy of the pattern of the week, then you can get that from the Daily Stitcher. 
which is an online shop located in Maine. That's right. So we'll link all the things below. You don't need any special code. You don't need anything like that. Um, it's already discounted, so you just add it to your cart and check out, and you're good to go. That's it. Yay. So. Okay. That is, uh, let's see, that is the promotional portion. It is. So next we're going to talk about mail call. Yep. Are we going to do the so, thing or we're not do the thing? Mail it's call. time for mail call. Yeah. Okay. Right. <laughs> we're a little rusty. Yeah. Okay. So before I, we get into mail call, I do want to say that um, in the time between our trip from the, to the Netherlands, we, and, okay, so we did the Dutch Mania recap, and then we had a regular video, etc. Okay. We had, everything sort of piled up, and there were things that did not get moved back over to the floss tube filming zone. <laughs> so. Do you have one of those? Our apologies, because yeah. some of this stuff might be a little older than just a week. Yeah. Um, but we wanted to make sure that we showed them and acknowledged them and yes. thank the people for sending them. And Absolutely. so I'm so very sorry that this has been taken us we so long. We did not forget. Yeah. No, we, we a hundred percent forgot. It was just, well, we forgot, but we, we're, yeah. we're here to correct that. Right. Okay. So this package didn't actually come in the mail, I guess it was left for me uh, at keepsakes. Um, when we were in Europe and it was from a lovely, lovely, I think husband and wife, I think Canadian couple that stopped in the shop. Um, yes. Okay. It was her husband. Okay. So they're on, they were on business. They live in Ottawa, Ontario and Karen and Francis, this is the lovely card they sent. So cute. I love that. And they made a lovely donation to our framing and shipping and buy me a coffee fund. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. They also provided us with two packages of Smarties, which are the Canadian M&Ms, which obviously we love that. Mm -hmm. And then... They gave us two bags of ketchup flavored lace. Now this is a Canadian product, obviously. Okay. I haven't seen it at our stores. Oh yeah, and a Canada magnet. Oh, I love it. It's got a little flag on it. Too. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do, are we gonna do a taste test? I'm doing it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So these Stay tuned, sweet. Guys. Has anyone they're, seen these in your stores in the States? No, no, they're Canada only. Oh, See, it says? Made in Canada. Oh, yeah. okay. This is a Canada specialty. I have a feeling it's going to be kind of like a mild barbecue. Yeah. That's you going to try one? Yeah. I'll take a small one. A small one. Where? Don't put it in your mouth yet. Nope. Okay. Oh, I'm excited. They're weird looking. But they kind of look like barbecue. Okay, ready? ready? One, Go. two, three. They're actually really good. I mean, it tastes like a potato chip dipped in ketchup. Hey, these are pretty good. <laughs> I'm pleasantly surprised. Mm -hmm. They're like kind of sweet. Yeah, it says sweet right on the... Mm -hmm. It says sweet right on the package. Kind of like the, like the ketchup sweet. They're not spicy. No. They're not barbecue flavored. They're ketchup flavored. These are freaking good. Okay. So there you go. Thanks, Here. guys, from Ottawa. How about for us? Mm hmm. What? So. I'm going to put those away or otherwise I will eat them all during the video. Oh, I think these are two ladies because Francis spelled with a C-E-S. But it says, I, Karen, am here for business, suggested to my hubby, I had to stop by. Oh, I thought Francis with an E-S was female. Well, I don't know. My sister, Francis. Oh, sorry. Francis, I'm sorry. Two women. <sighs> Francis, I'm sorry. That's how I always distinguish. I'm uncultured, okay? C-I-S is male. C-E-S is female. Well, see, it pans So she me. talked to her husband. That's what threw you off. Mm -hmm. Never talk to your husband. <laughs> Never talk to your husband. <laughs> okay, Karen and Francis. Yes. Blessings to you. Uh-huh. 
Oops. Pam, I hit the bell by mistake. Oh, stop. Listen to this. Okay. <sighs> so sorry. Okay. So, uh, then next, because I have these set aside, so I didn't want to lose them. So there was a lovely, lovely woman whose name is Barbara, who was supposed to come to Europe with us. Yeah. And due to circumstances beyond her control, she was unable to come. Right. So she was hoping to give these items to us in person. Right. Obviously, that didn't happen. Yeah. So she mailed them to us. She sent this lovely little mouse card. So cute. Yes. With a lovely note inside. And then um, she is from Texas. <laughs> Jeez. And oh, yeah. She these made these phenomenal. lovely scissor fobs. Look at these with all the charms on them. There's a there's a cowboy boot, a cowboy hat, a little feather, a lucky four leaf clover, a sewing machine, a, a bobbin, button, a horse, tape. a feather, scissors. Very, very cute. They're just adorable. Yes. They're just adorable. So, thank you so much, Barbara. We missed seeing you. Yes, yes. Um, and meeting you, mm -hmm. and we hope that one day we will be able to. Absolutely. Okay. So, for the... This is going to go in the pile of for future giveaway. Yeah. For future giveaways. Yeah. Um... Pam got an email or correspondence of some kind. Yes. From this lady from who this... had been to StitchCon? Uh. No. No. She ordered a fabric. Um, Martha. Martha. I think it's Martha or Marsha. I think it's Martha. Yeah, Martha. I think it's Martha. Think. And she went and got um, the... Pam Survival Cell fabric that I'm using. But yeah. she got it at a very high count for her. Yeah, for her, yeah. It's a 32 count even weave, and it's, it, I, w I don't want to lie to anyone, it is a tighter weave, okay? Yeah. So, um, when she, she did start it, very minimal start on it. Right. Um, and it's just too tight for her. So, this is a fat half of 32 count Lugana in Anya. Right. By Under the Sea Fabrics. Which is what I started my Pam Survival Cell yes. on. And she did a little bit of a start. Mm -hmm. um, and we're not going to rip that out. We're going to leave that there mm -hmm. for you. Um, but we'll give that away at some point. Yes. this After we come back from retreat. Yeah. But we wanted to say thank you so much. Yes. yes. And she so keep an eye out for that. She reached out and said, is there a way that, you know, you can find a home for this fabric that I cannot use? So... Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then <laughs> we got a um, lovely card from a giveaway winner, Pat. Um, and so thank you so much for the card. And she also made a donation to the Buy Me a Coffee Kofi situation. So thank you so much. We love you. And when we send giveaways, cards and donations are not required, but very much appreciated. So thank you so much. Okay, so in the same vein as things people sent to give away, <laughs> um, I got a message from uh, Marnie, and uh, she reached out to me because, look, look how cute this card is, too. Oh, yeah, with the matching envelope. Those are cute. Oh, matchy, matchy envelope. So mm -hmm. cute. Um, and she reached out to me because she had purchased this, ironically, from Keepsakes. Um, and she just was cleaning stuff out and she was like, I'm never going to stitch this. So, um, we'll go through all of the, the items that's inside when we do give it away. Right. Uh, but it's the Keepsakes, Keepsake Friends kit from Heart and Hand, right. which was a Situa exclusive um, for Keepsakes. Wow. Five years ago, maybe? No, not that long. Four, maybe. Okay. Four. When Cecilia was the featured designer yes. at Situa. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So we'll put that with the pink fabric and put that with the stuff to give away. So, mm -hmm. but thank you, Marnie. That's so generous. Yes. We love you so much. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's do... We got 
um, oh, a no. package from our friend Christy over at Salty Stitcher. Hi, um, Salty Stitcher Designs, all the things. Mm -hmm. And she sent us um, some copies of her new patterns. Yep. These will also um, go in the um, stuff to give away pile. Mm -hmm. Um, but she sent us a lovely, lovely card. Mm -hmm. So cute. I oh. love navy blue. And then she made us two cute scissor fobs. That's yours. Mm -hmm. Yep. Look at these. Lovely. So cute. Love. Thank you, Christy. We love mm -hmm. you. Mm -hmm. And so let's show you her new patterns. Yeah. Okay. So this is called Season. And it's there, there's a story on the back of here that um, has to do with her family. But it's called Season. And it says, Season until your ancestors tell you to stop. It has to do with some genealogy research she's done and all that stuff. It's very interesting. So this one's called Season. Mm hmm then this one is called Reflections of Bali One. Mm -hmm. Don't mind my snoring cat. Reflections of Bali One. Then Reflections of Bali Two. And Christy does have an Etsy under uh, Salty Stitcher Designs if you um, see something that you just can't wait to get. Yes. Um, you can um, go to her Etsy. Absolutely. And I'll link that below for mm -hmm. you too. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a temperature chart. So you can use this for 2024 if you're looking for yeah. um, a temperature chart. If you're a nautical fan. A lot fan. of people are stitching this this year. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. I've seen it on Instagram. Yeah. But you can use it for next year too. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so this is called the anchor temperature chart. Yeah. Christy's um, serving our country in the Navy. Yeah. And, uh, Love that. So, hence, Very cool. hence the anchors. Yes, ma'am. Then this is the ocean temperature chart. So, just a little bit of a different version. Mm -hmm. Very clever. Love that. Look at all the mm -hmm. fish bubbles. Obsessed. Mm -hmm. Yep. So cute. Very cute. And then this one is called On the Reef. Oh, look at those colors. Mm -hmm. Nice. Good job, Christy. Love it. Love mm -hmm. it. So, we will... um. Put mm -hmm. bundles together and do giveaways for everyone once our schedule is a little bit more back to normal. Yep. Can you put those in there for me, please? Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. Okay. All righty. So, we got... I tried to be good and keep everything together, you know. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Pam. Mm -hmm. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, the next piece of mail call is from our sweet friend, Sarah, at Hi, Memphis Sarah. Sarah E. Yep. And we just love her so much. If you watched our last floss tube video, you know that we... Um, Shouted her out as one of our silver and gold floss tubers. Mm -hmm. And um, we just think the world of her. And um, she sent us a lovely, lovely card. So pretty. Love to see it. And an extremely sweet note inside as well. Yes. And so I sa we saved the wrapping because I wanted you guys to see just how sweet she was. She even put little charms. It has an S and there's a P. Over here, it's just so cute and clever. Mm -hmm. Oh, I love it so much. Mm -hmm. Sarah, you're so nice. Mm -hmm. um, and then she, in addition to the sweet gift she got us, she also got Temptations for the Girls. <laughs> uh, this is the Mega one, 180 Grams <laughs> Tasty Chicken Flavor. Can't wait. Milkshake's excited, okay? <laughs> At least the eyes popped open. Yeah, the eyes opened, which 
is a lot. And uh, so if you haven't, you need to go watch Sarah's latest last video where she talks about her trip to Galleria, her trip to Color and Cotton. It's yep. amazing. Yep. And when she was there, she picked up some fabrics for Pam and I, which yeah. was very sweet as a sweet thank you. Mm -hmm. So um, I believe that all of these are um, like special editions, but they are right up my alley. So she got me this lovely 40 count. So pretty. And then Sarah, you naughty, naughty. Mm. This is 46 count. Okay. Oh, I'm terrified. <laughs> I'm not terrified. No, I just, I can probably see it. I'm just a little She got me a lovely um, 32 count. It's called, um, oh, it doesn't have a name. It's a limited, limited edition. edition. Yeah. So it, she said, um, thought this might do for something seaworthy. Mm. She got it right. Yes, ma'am. Right. So chances are she got these when she went to um, that's, Color and Cotton. That's exactly what happened. Oh. That's what she said in the, oh. in the card, Pam. Well, I know she combined... It with going to Galleria. Correct. Yeah. Correct. Okay, so cool. Yes. So thank you, Sarah. We love you. Yeah. And then uh, the last piece of mail call is um, the latest in the Twin Peak Primitives limited editions kits. Yep. So um, if you don't know, um, there is a Etsy shop that's called TPP Limited Exclusives. Yeah. Okay. Is it Etsy or a website? Limited editions. Is it Etsy or is it website? It's we're gonna check mm -hmm. so that we don't misspeak. Okay. I think well I'm not gonna say. It is a website. Okay. Okay. So, TPP Limited Editions website. Beautiful. Okay. So, uh, it is a new chart that the twins have designed. Mm -hmm. um, and then they kit it up for you, and there's a limited number of them. Mm -hmm. So, we checked with our friend Diane, who owns, it, well, not owns, but operates the, um, the website and ships out the items. And so we want, so that way we could give you the most accurate numbers as to what is left available at this one. Cause we mm -hmm. have a feeling it's going to be popular. Mm -hmm. So, um, this is a digital rendering of the pattern. The pattern is called Selena attends the seminar and in your package, you will get your own bag project bag, just like this. And this is a digital rendering of the pattern. Isn't she cute? I love her. Uh -huh. I love her little bag. Yes. I love her hat. Mm -hmm. I like her shoes. Mm -hmm. It's very cute. Okay. And then inside. She's going to the Witch's Academy. Obviously. Okay. So, uh, Diane gave us a bunch of notes and things. So, you will receive a little goodie bag, and inside of your goodie bag, you will get a um, library card note for the back of your piece, a coaster with a digital rendering of the chart on it, uh, a group of floss straws. Oh, those are great. So cute. Yeah. And then a needle miter. Cute. Very cute. So cute. Mm -hmm. um, and then you also receive a bag of tea and a couple of nail files as well. Mm -hmm. And, um, okay. Turn on to that for me, please. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Then you also get. All of the call for DMC to complete the project. Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Then this is the copy of the chart. Mm -hmm. Love this. So cute. Mm -hmm. And okay. So there are a few different options for fabric. Right. Okay. 
So as we go along, we'll tell you what is left in stock so you know. So it looks like there are three different colors. There's stone, hazy gray, and parchment. Mm -hmm. So Diane sent us two colors so we could see them. So this is hazy gray. Mm -hmm. And this is parchment. Mm -hmm. If we had to guess, I think the model was stitched on parchment or something very close to haze to parchment. Yeah. So she sent that this parchment is 32 even weave and then this is 40 count linen. Yeah. They're both fabric flare fabrics. Mm -hmm. So what does she have? What is left available? Well, she has of the three colors, three colors. She has a 16 count Ada, I'm assuming, mm -hmm. um, in stone and hazy gray. Yep. She has 28 count linen in stone, hazy gray, and parchment. Yep. She has 32 count linen on hazy gray and stone, and she has 40 count linen in stone, hazy gray, and parchment. So she has a good selection in 16, 28, 32, and 40. Right. Yeah. So there's plenty there. So yeah. go get one. Yes. Because it's quite a... It's, it's quite, quite a, cute. Quite cute. Yes. So um, the pictures and stuff have had already been released before we received it because we received it while we were away. Right. And um, so the pictures are already out there. So she started with 34 total. Yeah. Okay. So now that we're putting it out in the airwaves, um, if it's this something that you want... Left. Yeah. Yeah. If it's something that you want, then we highly, highly recommend that you go get yours ASAP. Right. Yeah. ASAP. Definitely. Okay. We will link below the uh, the website that you need to go to. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. So I think that that is all of the mail call. Okay. All right. So now let's go to Hall. Okay. Okay. Who's gonna go first? I think you should. Okay. Uh, taking it off the top, um, picked <coughs> up a couple of digital patterns from Calico Confectionery, and um, that is Marcy, and um, as soon as I hearted it, you know, she sent me a coupon, so, Aww. you know, make it hard on me, Marcy. Yeah, right. <sighs> Um, this is called Shine On Harvest Moon. I think this is really, really pretty. Calico Confectionery on Etsy. Mm -hmm. Really, really pretty. Look at that moon, man. Okay. And I also picked up um, this one. It's called uh, We Give Thanks. A couple of uh, pilgrims. Mm -hmm. Pilgrim couple. I like his beard. Do you? I think that's more realistic of the period. Do you? Yeah. So okay. I picked that up from Calico Confectionery on Etsy. Yep. Um... I also picked up um, a design from the Witchy Stitcher. You know, the Witchy Stitcher has gotten a kind of a, a serious medical diagnosis. And so I'm all about supporting people that are in that situation. Um, so the Witchy Stitcher, who cranks out just the most amazing, spooky Halloween designs. This is called... Book. And I think it's really kind of cute. So, the Witchy Stitcher. So, go help um, help the Witchy Stitcher out. Cool. Um, let's see here. Um, I also want to uh, mention again the Stitcher's um, Stitcher... Stitchers Collective um, is a group that uh, kind of gathers together some of the lesser known, smaller uh, design shops, and um, they are doing an event called Stitchers Against Cancer. Of course, that hits a particular sensitivity of mine, and um, all they ask is that you... Um, uh, send ten dollars to one of four, ten dollars at least, uh, to um, one of four different uh, research organizations um, 
and they're international in scope. Um, there's one that's based in the UK, there's one in the US, I think there's a couple more. Um, and for a simple donation, um, you get access to 26 um, designs. And um, they are really, really um, good quality. I printed off three for you to um, see as an example. Um, Is there a link you're going to give me to the Stitchers Collective? Absolutely. Okay. That so they can go and make the donation and yes. then get access. Yes. Okay. Um, this is one that um, I think is uh, very poignant. It's called um, Never Give Up Hope. I like the colors. Who's that, divided? Who's that designed by? It is designed by Witches Garden Crafts. These are probably designers you've never heard of, which or I think is great. Huh? Or rarely heard of. I mean, I've or heard rarely of the next heard one. Of. Here. Um, this one... Um, we have heard of Pixel Pixie Cross Stitch. Yeah, of course. She's coming to Stitch Yeah, time. and this is called um, Hang In There. I thought that was really cute and uplifting. And this is from a designer called Cozy Cabin Stitching, and it's called Keep Blooming in the pinks. So, again, October being Breast Cancer Awareness mm -hmm. Month. So, there's three of the 26. So cool. we'll link the Stitchers Collective. Yeah. I think the uh, event for the donation to get the 26 charts um, runs into November, okay. I think. Cool. We'll, we'll give you that link. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, and also, um, of course, Teresa Kogut has released her October um, charts to her. Patreons, and um, this is the design for tier two, three, and four. It's called Every Flower. Every Flower has a story. Isn't that lovely? Um, this is called, um, this is for three and four. This is called Mary Dodd. Some get riches, yet are always poor. Some get no riches, yet have all things store. Mm. Mary Dodd. And this last one for tier four only, I I had a great idea right off the top when I saw this. This is called Sarah Levy. Okay. And it's pretty just it. as it is. I love it. But my maiden name is CV. It sure is. And so I think I'm going to re-chart the S in Sarah and have it say Sarah CV because <laughs> there are some Sarah CVs in my family That's tree. That's fun. And I might even change the little date over here to match up with a Sarah CV in my tree. That's a great idea, Pam. So, um, yeah, so this one will definitely get stitched. Awesome. Um, and I think it's just beautiful. Yeah. Uh, of course, that's just a digital rendering. Sure. Um, I picked up some things on Stash Unload. I picked up this little, and many of you know this, you know, Hallmark. Hallmark. They, they picked up on Marjolaine Baston. Says, and we're doing poo-poo on a Hallmark. Um, <laughs> I had no idea you felt that way about Hallmark. That's fascinating to me. Um, but this is a Marjolaine Baston that Hallmark released. Sure. And it's called, um, what is it called? Does it even have a name? Per Hallmark. Birds. It's called Birds. Birds. Birds and Basket. Anyway. Birds basket, basket of birds. You know, birds feed basket. I love that this bird little seed basket. Yeah, I love that this <laughs> little um, uh, bird feeder thing is hanging off a pencil. Yeah, yeah that's kind of cute. Uh huh. Anyway, but you get all the things, so that's great. Thanks, yeah, Hallmark. Yeah. This is an we old love cricket, one fifty-two, folks. One fifty-two. One fifty-two. But I thought it was really cute, and I've never had this in my collection. It's well, now you do. Orange and black. Look at that hot air balloon with the witch riding and the pump. She's coming to your town, jack o' lantern, and even the ones on black. Jack o' lantern. Jack o' lantern. <laughs> We've been recording for a minute. Yeah. Jack o' lantern. I thought that was cute. One fifty-two. It's called orange and black. And what year was that? I don't know. I couldn't see it. Pam. 1996. Yeah. But it's still good. I mean, it's dang good. It's dang good. Um, this it's is so a fun. prairie moon. 
and yeah. it's from 2003. Great. And it's called Eagle Weather Vane. Look at that eagle. He is fantastic. I love this one. And uh, someone was offering up some older keepsake cross-stitch calendars. Mm -hmm. We got, um, and these were the ones that the charts were actually in the calendar, as yes. opposed to the separate booklet that you get now. Um, and these are keepsake calendars, not keepsakes calendars. So right. they're not associated with keepsakes at they all. They were initially, I think, published by Better, Better Homes, Homes and, and Gardens. Gardens. Yeah. So, um We've been kind of looking out for these. This is 2001, and that's what that looks like. I'm not going to spend time flipping through, but yeah. 2001. Oh, this one's got that old Bennett Creek in it. Oh, and yeah. Old Lizzie Kate in it. Yep. This is 2006. But so much, so many times the things that are in these mag in these calendars and things. They never appeared anywhere else. That this was the only place to get them, so. And look at this, 2007. Look at that full coverage americana scene i mean i feel like i would hate it but i would also love it yeah you'd hate it as you're stitching it and then you get it done and <laughs> you'd like love okay it. i like it so okay. okay that was the haul on my side that's all table. your haul okay can you yep. take those yep. okay yep. thank you um and you can have all those back too yep. okay um i picked this up from keepsakes um we ordered these before we left for craft pot retreat and um this is Teresa kogut's new book called Harvest Friendship. And it says, Friendship grows from the seeds planted. The harvest is a kindred spirit. And there's nothing I love more than a trio. You mm -hmm. know, we love a trio of friends. Yes. Um, but it's a beautiful book. There's uh, three projects inside. And highly recommend. So, yes. Uh, so I've got that. I told you we went down the rabbit hole. So the Sunday that we came back from Crop Retreat. I placed an order with Set Sam Street. And uh, first I went to find all the ones I already had. So then No, I... you didn't place an order with Set Sam Street? Yes, I did. Oh, it was direct to her. That's yes. right. Yep. Sorry. No, it's fine. Um, and so I found the ones I already had, which includes ice cream. So literally, I bought it twice. So it happens. It, I, I'm just going to be put in the giveaway pile. So, yeah. Uh, but I picked these four up. Uh, and so this is one eyed Jack. Freaking cute. Colors, man. She loves color. I love it. This is called Vampur, as in Vampire Cat. I love this one. Mm -hmm. uh, then I got Eye of Newt. Colors, great colors. And then I got guest house. Mm -hmm. No, house guests. Amazing. Love it. Just love, love, it. love it. So cute. So as you can see, it's not like a ton of beading. You know what I mean? Like it's not bold. Yeah. Like it's just to kind of give it a little bit of glitz. Little, and little pizzazz, little you know? Bling, you know? Well, glitz and glam, which mm -hmm. is me. I'm all glitz and glam. L O L. Um, so there's more in this she also has christmas ones mm -hmm. so there's not they're not just halloween um but i'm gonna see what she has at her pop-up shop in utah All right and probably purchase what's ever left that i need to get um and uh but she has a, an etsy and it's great and they come like you can buy the whole bundle it's really yeah. really great yeah. so uh and then <laughs> Speaking of beads, um, I will be honest, it is very rarely when I place an order with one, two, three stitch. I would much rather, to be fair, give my money to keepsakes or a, another small business. Mm -hmm. uh, but sometimes there are things that I don't even know where to begin to try and find them. Yeah. Um, and when I do a Google search for them, the thing that the answer to my question is Joanne's. Or one to three stitch. And I would rather give my money to the one to three stitch than Joanne's. Yeah. So. Um, if given the choice of those two. Sure, sure, sure. That's what I mean. Yeah. 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 So. I have an order for one to three stitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and so I don't remember what your name is. But um, one of the things I was doing at work this week was um, I was 
doing the paperwork for and receiving a lot of finishing that was that had come into keepsakes. Um, so when I returned from Crockmart Retreat, there was a lot of packages of things that people had sent in, and we have paperwork we have to fill out for all of them. And <clears throat> so I was tackling that task. And I do I love doing a ton of paperwork? No. But do I like to see what people send in? Yes, it's fun. That's fun. So this person had sent in all six of these fully, like they were finished and they, she wanted them made into ornaments. And I immediately found this kit. Look, look, just look at him. And the only place you saw them was one to three stitch or Joanne's. Yeah. Yeah. And it was like 15 bucks. Mm -hmm. So it's a perforated plastic kit. So this should be exciting. <laughs> Oh, with all of these beads. Uh -huh. I'm obsessed. So this is by Design Works. And it, it, I, I don't even know like, what is the name of this. She even. texted me with the picture of one of these. Oh my and goodness. she said, these just got dropped off for finishing. I'm obsessed. They're so cute. And I was like, what? They're so cute. Let's look at the little. Okay. So let me tell you about my cow problem. <laughs> So it's not a cow problem, but I, in my brain, I associate cows with Ohio. Oh, really? With, I did not know that. With United Dairy Farmers. Oh, okay. And Ohio. And okay. so cows make me sentimental. <laughs> and I also love Christmas, so Christmas cows. <laughs> oh, I have, oh I have no chill. Okay, no, no chill. No. But like, why just get that when you have a list of mill hills a mile long now? So, <laughs> so I picked up this baseball mill hill oh my god this is this is a find okay and also so this says all stars here yeah just so you know all stars is the same number of letters as red socks yeah so we're going to be changing that yep. but also look at all those beads holy hell okay <laughs> hoo, hoo, breathe so and then i got these two smaller ones this is letters to santa can you tell i like things about christmas cards I do. I just saw somebody post that on Instagram and I almost sent it to you. I forgot you already bought it. And then this is Christmas lights. That's cute. I like that a lot. Yeah. The old fashioned one. Yes. Okay. And uh, then I also have some more mill hills to show you in a minute. So that's great for me. Yeah. And um, then last but not least in my haul portion of this section, because <laughs> we have haul from our trip, um, is my monthly patchwork bag from the amazingly talented, wonderful, beautiful, exceptional Jessica at Como Stitches. And when I came home, this was waiting for me, and I'm very excited. It's so pretty, you guys. I just love it so much. Yeah, it's gorgeous. There's Oh, it's just so good. And I, out of the kindness and generosity of my soul, I'm going to let Pam use this project bag for pumpkins. Because it's perfect for it. I mean, it's literally perfect for it. And um, that's the back. For as long as I need it. I mean, you know, I'm uh, close to being done with exactly. it. Exactly. So I know you won't have it forever. And then <laughs> look at that. I yeah. mean, it's just it's freaking just, beautiful. It's beautiful. Imagine how Jessica. Many... Yeah. Jess. I love you. <laughs> okay. So that is all of our oh. non-retreat haul. Haul. And Add to cart. cart. Okay, so um, we gave you a little bit of a background as to what the Crockpot Crew Retreat is. Right. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit more about that now. Um, so a um, little backstory. Why are we called the Crockpot Crew? Well, um, people ask that? I don't know. Maybe they wonder. I don't oh, know. Okay. If you want to know, I'm going <laughs> to tell you. <laughs> okay. Um, initially, uh, our group would come to our house, the one you see here. The house we're in. The house we're in. Yep. And we would fix something in the crock pot for dinner mm -hmm. for all of us. All right. Um, our house for, um, lack of a better explanation has been less, uh, ready to have guests. And in the time that our house became less ready to have guests 
for a meal, basically our dining room table is occupied. That's what it boils down to. Right. Um, Lisa of our group kind of stepped up and said, hey, you know, my house is very, she has like an open plan area. And so we started going to Lisa's. But uh, about five years ago, we um, started doing a retreat once a year. And we um, went down, our first two retreats were down in Tennessee. And um, we had a lovely time. And then um, the owners decided that they were going to sell the property and they weren't sure what the new owners were going to do with the property. So um, the third year, we went to a place near, um, uh, where do they make the cereal in Michigan? Um, oh, shoot. It's right on the tip of my tongue. Anyway. Kellogg's. No. It, well, um, the, the. Doesn't really matter. They're screaming at me. I'll come up with it in a yeah. minute. And we went there once and it was fine. It was fine. Um, it wasn't the most ideal. And then last year we found this place called the Cropping Cottage. Cropping as, a, as pertaining to scrapbooking. So the setting is of the interior of this house. It's a two-story. Is good for scrapbooking and other crafts like cross stitch. Mm -hmm. So it has a fully equipped kitchen. It has enough bedrooms. It has... Um, a long table to sit at and stitch with good lighting. Yes. So um, we booked it last year mm -hmm. and we decided this was the best mm -hmm. of all. Yep. So um, anyway, it's in Michigan City, um, yeah. Indiana. Mm -hmm. So it's a few hours north or northeast of where most of us live. Mm -hmm. And it is in a, a kind of a touristy area Northeast along... Northeast or Northwest? Northwest, I meant to say. Okay. Um, it's on the lake mm -hmm. that you can walk or take a golf cart to the lake. You can get to the water. Mm -hmm. um, but since we usually go in September, it's the off season. So mm -hmm. everybody's left, pretty much. Mm -hmm. We did see a few people. Yeah, but on the by weekdays. and large, the whole neighborhood is... They, they, yeah, Tuesday through Thursday, there was hardly anybody right. there. Then Friday and Saturday, it filled up. But so we go in two vehicles, and um, we divide up the meals, mm -hmm. and we just simply relax. Mm -hmm. Aside from fixing our meals um, and deciding on what we want to stitch, we don't have any agenda until we get to our white elephant. Mm -hmm. So um, we had access to a golf cart mm -hmm. um a few of us did that at so various fun. times yep. super fun yep um and of course like steph said it's more or less like a verbal situation you know rules and regulations yeah. um but uh you leave it as you find it mm -hmm. you know pretty simple and um we had the uh perfect weather mm -hmm. um we thought maybe it might be dreary but it ended up being yes, very totally nice fun. and we had a lot of fun mm -hmm. um one of the things that we had done last year was to drive to laporte indiana mm -hmm. to house of stitches and we went back this year yes so um at this point do we want to show our sure. haul from house of stitches why not which is under new management but still a great shop yeah absolutely and um we you know don't need much and much um Prodding to, to, to spend money again. So okay, so your stuff from the retreat is on the left side of your chair, on the floor. Oh, I wondered where it went. And you have less haul than me, obviously. So you okay, can, you can go first. I didn't even see this back here. Yeah. Okay. So um, mm. let me show you what I got. Gosh, I haven't looked at this stuff since we got home. Well, yeah, you would never even do. I didn't have a reason to. Okay. One of the things House of Stitches has is a full line of um, anchor. Anchor. So keep that in mind. Um, and they have a lot of things. You know, it's it's a great shop. It has new stuff. It has great fabric. They do framing. Blah, 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 blah. But 
they're also apt to have things that have been around for a while and that you think it's a gold mine, y'all. Oh, look what I found, kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So this was from Bent Creek. <clears throat> it's called the Americana Collection. Mm -hmm. And I think there's four projects three. in here or three. Red, white, and blue. So I don't know whether you can even see. Yep. Okay. And they're all packaged in these envelopes. It's yeah. so cute. Yeah. So, you know, love Bent Creek. Um, then I found, uh, this, um, well, Stephanie brought it to me. Mm -hmm. Stephanie found it. Yep. It's from Shepherd's Bush and it's called I Saw. And one of my favorite Christmas songs is, um, I saw three ships come sailing by. Mm -hmm. And so, um, I got that from Shepherd's Bush. So cute. Um, I got this, um, old, out of print, you and I and friends, called Liberty. That's a picture. You know, you and I and friends often had the long, and House of Stitches put a little sticker on it, and it says, last one. Yeah. So, hello. That's mm. like exclusive to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, hello, I'm awake now. Mm. Um, I found this, um, Mosey and Me. Called Summer Days Sampler. There's a whale and some American other flag. motifs. American flag, a lighthouse. Summer Days Sampler. I don't think the picture does it justice. No. So I grabbed it. And then lastly, I found two bright needles. Um, and I know that at least um, Anne might be watching. So... Um, this is called the Christmas chairs. And this is what they work up into, Christmas ornaments and the colors. So this prompted me to go over and grab as many of the anchors that it calls for. Because she charts in lot an anchor exclusively, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I don't know about exclusively, but oh. in these two. So I was able to gather up all the anchors. And see the mauves and the purples in mm. some of these chairs. It's going to be great. And so I got the Christmas chairs, which I just love. Mm -hmm. And then I found this other one called uh, Orchard. And it's very tiny too, but it's it's an apple orchard. Mm -hmm. And I grabbed what I could find of the um, anchors that she calls for in here. Cool. So, um, yeah, it was more or less of a treasure hunt for me mm -hmm. at House of Stitches. Yeah. Um, and I love the hunt. I love just flipping through and saying, awesome. ooh, ooh, what did I buy? Oh, boy. Yeah. Okay. My bag looks thick, but it's... She's thick. It's not... Hmm. Sorry for the headphone, people. Uh oh I don't care. <laughs> we're, we're, we're over two hours in, so I don't care at this point. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So. Alrighty. Um, I, I talked about these back a while ago. These are very much out of print, very hard to find. Mm -hmm. To be honest with you, I don't know if we have them. We probably do. <laughs> but to see them in a store at $7, I had to pick them up. So these are Chris's Stitches Charts 1 and Charts 2. So this is Chart mm -hmm. 1. Mm -hmm. uh, Chris uh, was worked with Norden Crafts back in the day. And she passed away, unfortunately. And a bunch of designers got together and made these leaflets with a collection of charts inside. Yeah. Um, and so... Like each one of these block boxes is a different designer, yeah. which is a different set of nine designers than this. Mm -hmm. So just for example, in this green one, we've got Rose of Manor, Heart and Hand, Glory B, Cricket Collection, Homespun Elegance, Little House Needle Works, and Waxing Moon Designs. All to honor um, Chris, who yes. uh, either owned or worked at Norton Crafts. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I got those just because I felt like I couldn't leave them there. Right. Then um, I got 
three um, Mosey and Me's. This one that's called Pumpkin Pie. Love it. And when I was looking for something, I found it. I bought it already. So this will go in the giveaway pile as well. So that's exciting. Yeah. For you. And then this is the Fall Fox Sampler. So Pam got the summer one. And then they have one for each season. So mm -hmm. I obviously got this because yeah. Fox. And then this one is called Merry Motifs. And I love a Mosey and Me Santa. Yeah. So get that. And then this is um another mosey yep and it's called four in a row strip so it's basically four for october november december and january oh yeah yeah yep. the winter months That's yes good. and then um they have them for i've never seen that one they have them for all block of the month but oh, I, I, see. I have to find just them. divided the year and third yeah. and thirds yep. yeah uh then i got this book from i've i had this book for a long time and i Finally just bit the bullet and got it. And this is called Autumn at Not Forgotten Farm. It's obviously by Not Forgotten Farm. Um, but there's like this. I love this. And then this chart with the turkey on it. And there's like other non-cross-stitch projects in here. But these cross-stitch charts are only available in this book. So I thought might as well get it. Yep. Add to the collection. Yep. Okay. Uh, then... Um, one thing I wasn't able to do last year is really dig through the cases of things they had. So the stuff that, like they have a whole box that says Sam Sarah, and I just didn't have, we just didn't have time last year to do it. So I knew going in that I wanted to sit with each of the buckets or the buckets I was interested in to see what I could find if there were any hidden treasures. Yeah. So, which is why we were able to strike gold on a lot of this stuff is because we took the time to look through it. Right. So, um, these things are from Lizzie Kate. Um, and as far as I know, these are not available and one, two, three, six doesn't have them either. So this is, it was a limited edition kit called pumpkin pocket. That's super cute. I love it. It's a full kit. Well, you don't get the threads. Oh, I see. You but get the... you get the finishing fabric, the buttons and the fabric. Oh, you're going to have the threads. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is the, so every year Lizzie Kate did a Santa. This is the Santa from 2013. Cute. I love her Santa so much. Mm -hmm. Then this is another limited edition kit. This is the Eek Scissor Fob. Cute. Never seen that before. No? Mm -mm. And then uh, this is another... Limited edition kit, and this is called Noel. And it also came with this um, needle minder in it as well. And you got all the finishing stuff and the fabric, of course. Then this is from Shepherd's Bush. It's called I'm Dreaming. As in, I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. Cute. I like his socks. They're cute. Oh, cute. Um, I got this chart from Not Forgotten Farm. This is called Rabbit Warren. Because I think a group of rabbits is called a Warren. Yeah. I think. Yeah. But I love that. Mm -hmm. um, another designer that no longer designs is uh, Trail Creek Farm. Mm -hmm. So I picked up two charts from them. This is Millennium 2. We don't. I don't see a ton of New Year's stuff. Mm -hmm. So I picked that out. And then this is called Holiday Glitz. Mm -hmm. I love pink and lime green together for uh, Christmas. So, got that. You, all these different ways you can do um, do stuff with it. <laughs> this is You and I and Friends, which is obviously out of print. Um, and this also has a last one sticker on it. Uh, someone, a local stitcher had stitched this, brought it in to be for, finished. And I said, oh my gosh, that's so cute. And I've been looking for it forever. And so it's called Candy Cane Tree. Cute. Cute, cute. And like the specialty stitches mm -hmm. on the tree, it's adorable. Yeah. I love it. Um, okay. And then mm -hmm. I think, yeah, the rest of these things are all newer releases, like n things that you can get if you, from anywhere. Yeah. Um, okay. So these are new from Heart and Hand. This is Doodles Thanksgiving. 
cute. I mean, look at that friggin' turkey. The bird. Holy mm -hmm. moly. Uh, and these are her imprints, Fala Law and Mary. I love those. I love them. I just think they're sweet, you know. Mm -hmm. Uh, then this, oh, this is Elizabeth Hankin Citrus Fault. Mm. So this is Margaret Schropler, Schropler from Jeanette Douglas. I love it. Mm -hmm. Love it. Uh, this is At Home from Brenda Gervais. This is For Genuine Happiness We Need Not Roam. Tis Doubtless Found with Little and, and At Home. Mm-hmm. I really love like all the different trees in the background. I think it's pretty. Also from Brenda Gervais, this is When Pumpkins Glow. There's magic in the night when pumpkins glow with candlelight. I love little people in pants and pumpkin <laughs> heads. I mean. Little people in pants. So good. And then this is When Witches Go Riding. This is the When Witches Go Riding and Black Cats Are Seen. Da, 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 all of that. Um, so cute. Again, love for people in dresses, mm -hmm. not just pants. Mm -hmm. And this is new from uh, Sweet Wing Studio. It's called The Noblest Part. And it said, friendship above all ties does bind the heart. And faith and friendship is the noblest part. And I just think it's really sweet. Mm -hmm. So, got that. Then, the last few things I got... Um, one is a limited edition kit from Shepherd's Bush. I'm going to have a hard time showing you what it looks like, but it's called Flag Day Pin Cushion, but it came in this little Altoid tin. Mm. And yeah, shows up pretty good. it's so cute. And I was worried that they weren't going to have any at Shepherd's Bush, so I just bought it there. Yeah. Don't take, yeah. Oh, and then, say. uh, yeah. three more mail hook kits. Okay, fine. <laughs> That's fine. Uh, so this is one of those stick ones. So yeah. like, look at all the floss in there. Holy heck. So um, <laughs> this is called Not a Creature with Stirring. Oh, it's so precious. It is. Look at those. Uh -huh. Animals. Then uh, I actually have already been collecting the Christmas Village uh, kits from... No. Mill Hill, no. and this is the latest in that series, and this is the Physicians Village Physician. I love it. So cute. I love it. So cute. And then I also got this little baseball glove because, well, obviously, mm -hmm. uh, duh. Yeah. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, that is all the haul from House of Stitches. Um, I'll put their contact information below. I do not believe that they have an online shop. Um, so no, I'll put no. their contact information below if you saw Give something. A call. Yeah. Um, one thing I called them about, you know, that um, the Victoria Sampler um, charts that came with the accessory packs. Yeah. Um, she's no longer producing those accessory packs. No. And I... I ended up calling them <laughs> to see if they might have an accessory pack to a Victoria sampler chart that I have in my stash. Um, they very kindly looked and they didn't, mm -mm. but um, Victoria sampler also gives you a conversion. Yeah. So it was just an offhand chance, but they're very, very nice in there. Mm -hmm. So if you're ever in the um, Laporte, Laporte, Indiana. Indiana, Northern Indiana, up by the lake, mm -hmm. uh, part of the country, um, Definitely give them a stop in because mm -hmm. uh, it's, great. it's a real treasure trove of a place. And so. if you go back to um, the Crockpot Crew Retreat recap video that we did last year, you will see the shop tour that I did. Yeah. And it looks very similar to that. So yeah. I didn't feel like doing yeah. it again was necessary. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, but in addition to doing that, um, we also, like Pam mentioned, had the white elephant exchange. Mm -hmm. And so what that is, is where everyone stitches uh, a small. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to be on any sort of theme or whatever. Right. It's just a small. Right. And then um, it's not for someone specifically. So, um, because there's only seven of us, so we mm -hmm. can kind of get a little rowdy. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, basically, everyone's name goes on a wheel. I spin that wheel. And then the first, all the gifts are on the table. They're all wrapped, so you don't know who put them there or what they are. Mm -hmm. And then the first person pulls something out of there. Then they open it. Then everyone goes, ooh, and all, amazing. And then I spin the wheel again, and then the second person can either steal person number one or pick a gift. Off the table. Off the table. Like coffee table. Yes. So then person number three, spin the wheel. Person number three can either steal person one or two 
or pick a new gift right. and so on and so forth. And then at the very end, the person that had to pick first can steal from anyone mm -hmm. or they can say, no, I'm good with what I got. And yeah. then the game's over. Yeah. But if that person steals, then there's a stealing domino situation mm -hmm. until everyone's happy. Everyone's happy with what they got. It's Correct. tons of fun. It's so it's, fun. There's only seven of us. So right. It's, you know, exactly. It, it happens pretty quickly. We're not doing this at StitchCon. Okay? No, 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 no. So um, the items that um, that we got. Uh, so I received the small Stitch by Crystal and uh, Crystal of Stitch in the Dream. And this was... This chart is on the back of the Loose Feathers Summer pattern from Blackbird Designs. Mm -hmm. So it's always funny to me how it seems like the person that should get the item always ends up with the item. Yeah. So I love Blackbird Designs, obviously. So mm -hmm. this is what she stitched and I got. Mm -hmm. It's absolutely beautiful. She did a wonderful job. And she like antiqued and painted the frame. And it's beautiful. I love mm -hmm. it so much. Yeah. So I couldn't ask for a better gift. Mm -hmm. So, and it is an easel pop up, so it doesn't have to hang. It can sit, which is nice. So, right. love right. that. So, thank you, Crystal. Yes. And I ended up um, with Lisa's. And oh, Lisa, that's funny. Lisa um, stitches on very high count, she and is. I don't know who these are by. Do you? Whilst Iris naps. Oh, whilst Iris naps. I knew that. But these are at least 56 count, aren't they? I think they're 46. 46. So look at what she did. The, yeah, these are from um, Michelle at uh, Wild Star Wars Naps. So um, look at these. And she put CPC and 2023 down in the corner. These are exquisite. They're so cute. These are just exquisite. They're so, so, so cute. And then this one. Oh, I love the bunny butts. Oh, this is just precious. Look at the bunny butts. And finished, finished extraordinary. Exquisitely. And so I got a huge Easter basket. She so said cute. she started collecting Easter things right after Easter. Yeah. Because she knew she wanted to stitch these. That's cute. So uh, as soon as these came into my possession, I was not letting them go. Yes. But we had a ton of fun. We did. We Absolutely. also want to mention that um, two of our uh, party... Um, did give us group gifts. Mm -hmm. um, we got individual soaps from Crystal, which mm -hmm. is lovely. And um, right, we both ended up with honeysuckle, huh? Honeysuckle. So uh, handmade at her church goat milk soap. So that was very cool. Love that. It smells and amazing. And Melissa gave us all blankets. Yeah, blankets. Fleece blankets. That's mine. Yep. It's been on my bed. Mine's green. It's upstairs. Then we got... We each um, got these mugs. Yeah. With... Um, little, little people. People. These yeah. are not people. These are animals. Um, we got floss drops in the mug. I'm going to use my floss drops. Um, cider mix in the mug. Um, this is... She also included this little sachet. Oh, that's right. The sachet was tied, mm. tied with the um, blanket. All and wrapped in says, burlap tie. It was adorable. It says welcome fall. Yeah. And then did you show the apple cider? Yeah. The okay. apple cider mix. And so Pam got a little hedgy. Yeah. And I got a little squirrel. Yeah. Not all of us did that. It's more or less an impulsive, you know, a thing that you never know who's going to yeah, bring good right. gifts. And, and some people year. do, some people don't. And yeah. It's it what it is. It's, it's great. But yeah. it's, you know, Not very loosey goosey. We all know each other very, very, very well. well at this point. And yeah. so we just roll with it We're and, good. and have a great time. Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, so that was our crock pot retreat. Yeah. Um, and uh, at this point, we want to um, do the giveaways. Do the giveaways. Yeah. So okay. why don't we take a minute? Okay. So let's talk about the things we're giving away this week. Yeah. So, oh, um, for did I put that down over here? Is it underneath there? The chart picture of the chart. Yeah, there it is. Thank you so much. Okay. So, um, we have four things that we're giving away. Mm -hmm. One is uh, this beautiful chart. My favorite things, Autumn, from Four Boys and an NL Girl. Yep. And then we have three Just Keep Stitching sweatshirts. Yeah, yeah, with our likeness on them. Mm hmm So they're hoodies. We're yes. We're going to unfold it because they're ready to ship. Yes, ready to ship. 
Yep, and we had three different sizes, large, extra large, and... Uh, 2XL. 2XL. Yeah. So, um, I record myself live picking winners, and so we will insert the video of me picking those winners Yeah. here. Hello, friends. Welcome to the giveaway portion of the program. And we're here to give four things away today. Uh, the first of which is a chart from our friends at Four Boys and an NL Girl. And it is a PDF version of the chart. So if you are the winner, you please reach out to us with your email address. And then we will email the designer and the designer will send you your winnings in a PDF form. So, da -da 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 -da. let's see. So, the chart is called My Favorite Things Autumn by Four Boys and an NL Girl, of course. And we asked you to use the word autumn in your comment to enter. So, here at Just Keep Stitching, we use the YouTube Random Comment Picker website here. This is the URL for the video. And we put in the keyword and the keyword is autumn. Like I see it. Autumn. Okay. And let's see how many people use the word autumn in their comment. Eighty-four. Eighty-four comments. All right, let's pick a winner. Anita. Anita, isn't this an excellent autumn quote? Every leaf speaks bliss to me, fluttering from the autumn tree. I love that quote, Anita. Congratulations, my dear. You have won the My Favorite Things Autumn from Four Boys and an NL Girl. Okay, let's reset and we'll do the next giveaways. Alrighty, next up are the three Just Keep Stitching Zip Up Hoodies. So we have three of them, one size large, one extra large, and one 2XL. So I'm going to go through these and pick winners for all of them. So the first one is for the large zip up hoodie. Same URL for the video. And the keyword to use there was large. Very original. You're welcome. And let's see how many comments use the word large. Fifty-seven comments. All right, let's pick a winner. DJB Quilts. Yay! Congratulations, DJB Quilts. You have won the large Just Keep Stitching sweatshirt. All right, let's reset. We'll do the next one. Okay, so the second sweatshirt is the extra large sweatshirt, and we use, we asked you to use the word extra in your comment to be entered. So let's see how many comments we have that use that word. 93, 93 comments. All right, let's pick a winner. Greta Russell, you guys are so extra special. Oh, Greta, you're extra special. So congratulations, Greta. You have won the extra large sweatshirt. All right, we'll reset and do the last one. Alrighty, the last sweatshirt is the 2XL sweatshirt. And same situation applies, except the keyword for this one is excellent. Excellent. I'm sure I spelled that correctly. Appropriately, yes, I did. Okay, let's see how many comments use the word excellent. 120. All right, let's pick a winner. Carol Hardage. I always look forward to your videos. Thank you, Carol. They're always excellent. So you see, I would love the 2X sweatshirt. Yay, congratulations, Carol all right, congratulations to all of our winners. Let me write Carol's name down so I know I have that right. And so, in the description box below our videos, come on, right here is Pam's email address. If all of our winners um, who are having the physical, like, things, the sweatshirt winners, could email Pam at that email address with your mailing address, 
then we will get your sweatshirts in the mail to you ASAP. Um, and Anita, you know what to do about the PDF chart. And thank you all so very much for all of your wonderful comments. We appreciate you all. And I will send you back to regular scheduled programming now. Bye. Yeah, baby. Yeah, congratulations, everybody. Okay, so I think I put... Yeah, there they are. Okay. So, Anita, DJB Quilts, Greta Russell, and Carol Hartage. There yeah. you go. So, um, congratulations to you all. Mm -hmm. um, so, we leave for retreat this week. We we'll leave on Wednesday again. Yes. So, so um, if we can, for those three that won the sweatshirts... If we hear from you before we leave, then we are happy to get your stuff out to you that before means, we leave. That means Monday or Tuesday. Correct. Um, and yeah, because our flight is pretty early mm -hmm. Wednesday. So, mm -hmm. um, and but if not, it will be home, and we can mail them our home. So no big right. deal. Right. But th so congratulations to all of you that won. Uh, and then the chart. The chart is the email situation. Oh, okay. So you can and let you us know whenever the, I did. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So. Um, that sort of leads us into reminding you all that there still is going on mm -hmm. a Just Keep Stitching Spirit Wear sale, mm -hmm. uh, that has hoodies, mm -hmm. like the ones that we gave away this week, mm -hmm. a t-shirts, like the ones we're wearing. Yep. They're nice and comfy. We like them a lot. Absolutely. We think you'll love them, mm -hmm. you know? Um. And the sale goes until the 15th? You know, I think so. I think we said the 15th. It goes till after we come home from Utah. Yeah. So it's so, still going on. And, yeah. um, you know, variety of colors, variety of sizes. Yes. Uh, T-shirts and, and hoodies. Absolutely. Yeah. All the information and where you need to click is in the box below. Right. So make sure you do that. Right. Okay. 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 So we're finally to plans. Yes. Um, if you've watched this without taking a break, kudos to you. Blessings. Um, like we've alluded to, we leave again on Wednesday for uh, Stitch West. I can't freaking wait. We're going to be gone through Sunday. We don't fly home until Monday. Mm -hmm. So, um, we're very, very excited. We went to Stitch West for the first time last year. Had an absolute blowout blast. Best time. Best time. Yeah. So, um. And I get to see my best friends. And the best she time. gets to see Catherine and Victoria. And, um, I get to see Debbie. Yeah. Again, uh, first time since the Netherlands and um, Victoria and, and Chris. Carol and the whole Sarah bunch. and everybody. It's yeah, gonna so it's going to be a blast. If you're going to Stitch West, please come by and say hi. Yes, do not be do. shy. Um, and um, I did announce on Instagram that I am planning to have 24 starts Ooh, in baby. 24 um, because I'm totally um, psycho. Totally psycho, <laughs> totally denying my age, and... Um, Pam, what the, good do they do in a drawer? That's what I was just going to say. These charts sitting in a box do me no good. They're not going to get stitched by themselves, so, okay? And half of it, I don't want to stitch. So, if you would like to join me, um, feel free. Um, I was kind of surprised at the enthusiasm from everybody after my Instagram post. Yeah. Uh, people were said, I'm in, I've already got 24 kitted. Go for it. No judgment. That blah, is blah, amazing. Blah. Um, so what, what <laughs> we're going to do. So some, many yeah, one time. What, at some point between now and the end of this year. Um, we're going to do a special edition um, video. Showing the 24 that made the final cut. It's going to be so good. And um, so stay tuned for that. Yes. So um, those are our close short term plans. And our long term plans. That is. Yeah. yeah. Do we want to do we, the buy me a coffee? Oh. We also want to thank folks who have donated. I'm just watching my cat over here. She's going crazy. Okay. Um, we want to thank um, the following people who have donated to the Buy Me a Coffee or Ko-Fi links. Yes. In the description box. Yes. Uh, those funds go to framing, finishing, mm -hmm. and postage expenses. Yes. So uh, a sincere thank you to an anonymous donor. And um, we also want to thank Christine. Hi, Christine. Thank you. And we want to thank Jana. Hi, Jana. Thank you thank very you. much. We also um, want to thank Karen and Francis, mm -hmm. and uh, who uh, enclosed cash with their um, uh, gift that they brought into keepsakes. Mm -hmm. 
And we want to th Pat. thank Pat as well, who yes. did the same thing. Thank you guys so much. So thank you so much. Totally optional, but very, very sincerely appreciated. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. So I think we're finally done. Thanks so. And um, I know you all know about the pause button and the, you know, the fact that you can watch us in pieces. Um, you can also wear depends. This is true. You know, if that really, if you want to do that. Yeah. Yeah. But that's fine. So anyway, um, we hope that when we can, we give you uh, content uh, in the world of cross stitch that um, you want to see um, and that you um, understand that sometimes we we need to get out and mingle in the mm -hmm. community and, and we love doing it. that. Yes, absolutely. So um, that is what we're going to be doing. In the fall, we mingle. In the fall, we mingle. That's right. And so um, the next video will be after Stitch West. Mm -hmm. and, um, and so there will not be a video next Sunday. There will not be a video next Sunday, but um, the next one will be our recap of Stitch West. Uh -huh. So stay so tuned, stay for, tuned that for that because it's going to be awesome. Yeah, Cannot I wait. mean, yeah. I can't wait to see mountains. I, I mean, we're going to be out there during an eclipse. I mean, it's how much really more crazy what, do what you want? What Utah thing is there? That's right. That's right. So thanks for hanging in. Mm -hmm. Thanks for dropping in. And... Um, We'll uh, see you when we get back from mm -hmm. our next adventure. Yes. In the meantime, I'm Pam. And I'm Stephanie. And this is Just, Just Keep, Keep Stitching. Stitching. Bye. Bye.